<laughs> so, but say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, Trouble's around here somewhere. He's running between my daughter's room and in here. Of course, he's got his little spot right here that he's been sleeping. This is his pillow he puts his head on. Um, sorry. Um, I'm sick, but I don't have the coronavirus or the COVID-19. Um, according to my doctor, it's just allergies and a common cold. Um, my husband's like all freaked out. My family's all freaked out. They're thinking, oh my God, you know, worst case scenario. As most of you know, I have heart failure and a lot of other issues. And the heart failure causes me to have an extremely weak immune system. So I'm extremely high risk to catching this. But I have been kind of quarantining myself before the quarantine actually went into effect here in Lubbock. Um, so, yeah. Can I help you? Come here. Oh. <clears throat> Look who came out of hiding. Mm. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, he's been a trooper. He's been really with me. Um, so I don't think I'm going to get the COVID-19, but if I'm destined to get it, I guess I'm destined to get it. But right now I am dealing with a cold. I am quarantined as everyone else in this country and in the world is. Um, but I'm also kind of sent to my bed by my family, so... The only one who comes and lays with me is this one right here. Because he's my little nervous kitty. He, he, both me and him are being driven up the freaking walls with being inside, y'all. Truthfully, we both want to go out diving. But I don't want to risk my health doing that. So, anyway, I just thought I'd come on here. We, now that we have trouble, say we trouble. And, um, he's going to go play and eat his treats. Um, and just say hi, let y'all know that we are still alive. Um, we do have, from last I heard, it was like three or four confirmed cases here in Lubbock. Um, the high school's doing really good. They, um, extended spring break by a week. So this week, last week and this week, my daughter's on spring break. And then starting a week from today, next Monday, um, she'll be doing remote learning at home and then um the school district their uh their cafeteria people is called airmark they are air airmark or something like that anyway they have designated schools that if you take your child to that school between 12 and 1 30 you just it's like a drive through you drive through and they will give you they will give that child a lunch for that day and the breakfast for the next morning. Missed it today. Started today. Missed it today. Gonna start that tomorrow. Um, but for my daughter. So, I mean, they're doing all this and the school's keeping in contact. Our school's doing, our, our principal's doing YouTube videos to talk to the students and talk to the parents and tweeting about it and phone calls out and even though this is an, a major issue and it just kind of popped up and there really isn't a procedure to say, hey, this is what you're going to do if you get, you know, if you have a pandemic. Because, I mean, seriously, who in the world would think we have a pandemic these days and age, right? But they're doing very good at putting everything together very quickly and in, in a reasonable manner. So, um, there's the teacher who my daughter, like, my daughter has to call or text a specific teacher Every day, starting next week, before 1 o'clock. And that teacher actually called me today. Got a bunch of information. Um, got my daughter's phone number so she can, instead of having to go through me, she can directly speak to my daughter. Um, so, it's 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 amazing what they're doing here. Um, we're a college town. The college here is Texas Tech University. Go Raiders! Good comes up! Go Raiders! Okay, anyway... It's Texas Tech University, and um, 
I didn't understand when I first moved here why everybody did this. You know, because, like, come on, you know, seriously. But come to find out, like, a year after I moved here, it was, put your guns up, Red Raiders. So, anyway, Texas Tech went ahead, and they're doing the remainder, remainder of the school year for their students remotely. But they've also gone and closed the dorms. And, um... One of my daughter, my oldest daughter, her and her husband have a friend who goes to tech who's actually from Hawaii. Well, with planes not flying because of the pandemic, he can't catch a flight back to his family. And he was living in the dorms here. So he had to quickly scramble to find an apartment and get stuff for his apartment. So, oh no. Uh, excuse me. All right. Um. This is what I got. I happened to come across it. Um. I snuck out. Y'all are family. I'll tell you. I snuck out last night without trouble. It was two o'clock in the morning. I was at a soda. I went to 7-Eleven. They were open. Because I have the Octane. I don't know if they do this at all 7-Elevens. But here, um, this 7-Eleven has what they call Octane Rewards. Hold on. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Um, so I snuck out at 2 o'clock because I was at a soda. Um, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. And I went down to 7-Eleven. And they were open. And the guy in there, he's really nice. But they have Octane Rewards, so I can get my soda refills for free. And I can get, like, three cents off a gallon of gas every time I get gas there. But anyway, had these sitting up there on their counter. And it is that, it's like 70-some percent, I think it says, I can't even read it. it to be honest with y'all, it's like, it looks light, but that's because I have, like, a light on me. Um, but my lights are off in the room. Um, but anyway, it's, I looked it up. It's the correct percentage for hand sanitizer. Um, and so they actually had this there and it does, it actually smells like blue raspberry. So, um, I've got Kleenex. You know, the funny thing is, is here you can't find toilet paper. You can't find baby wipes. Napkins are still around. Very rarely will you find actual paper towels. Rubbing alcohol has been bought out. And I, however, have found Kleenex. Because with my allergies, I'd rather blow my nose in Kleenex than toilet paper. Because you can't find toilet paper anywhere these days, you know? Um, I've been seeing ridiculous stuff on, like, Someone here in Lubbock is selling on Facebook Craigslist for here in Lubbock. They're selling an eight pack of toilet paper for $50. Come on now, people. That is called bad karma right there. I'm sorry. I don't care. I try to resell some of the stuff I get. I mean, I don't do Ulta and I really don't do my candles, but I do try to resell everything else. And I'm telling you right now. You know, even if I could buy something low and sell it high, you know, if I can go to Goodwill and buy something for like two bucks and then it's actually worth, you know, because I've seen people do that. They go to Goodwill, they find some vintagey stuff that can sell for, you know, 20 bucks or whatever, but they buy it from Goodwill for like a buck and it's in really good condition. And so it's buy low, sell high, fine. But, you know, sell higher than what you bought it for, but you're still honest to God, the actual value of the product. Toilet paper... This is just price gouging and hand sanitizer, price gouging and cleaning wipes. I've seen cleaning supplies. I've seen price gouging water price gouging. So I know of a few places that a lot of people don't know about here in Lubbock that still have some items. Um, so, if I'm desperate, I can go to those locations. They are kind of far away from me. But, 
No, about 20, 30 minutes away from me. But, um, unfortunately, I don't feel comfortable sharing because if I share where that location is, you know, then eventually we're going to end up just like the grocery stores. And it's not because I'm trying to be rude. And I apologize if anybody thinks I'm trying to be rude. But it's not just about me. It's about who they cater to. And those people need to have these things handy to them. So I don't want it being sold out for the people that actually need it for the area that they're in. I'm going to say that. Um, so yeah, um, let's see. Um, my husband, when he was home, he was home for about a week when he was home, he kind of quarantined himself in the living room, refusing to come sleep next to me. Um, just because uh, he's starting to understand that even though he may not show signs, um, show symptoms of it, and he may not actually, you know, what was it, Dr. Pimple Popper? What did what the doctor say? He said, he can carry the virus home. He can carry the virus to people. That doesn't mean he actually um, gets sick from the virus. So he could just be a carrier and not actually show any symptoms of it. So with him being a truck driver and with the company he works for, it's a medical medical field and um we're talking like cat scan trailers mri portable mri trailers stuff like that he's got to haul those and that's the cat scan trailers are actually in demand right now because that's another way that they're able to find the covid19 to detect it so he's actually back on the road today but he understood that he possibly could have been exposed to it and brought it home so he didn't want me to get it so pretty much everybody's kind of social, not social, but do, well, playing the social distance rules in my family. Um, I'm kind of a quarantine. They've kind of quarantined me to my room. I'm going absolutely insane. I don't know if anybody else is, but I have really bad body aches right now, but I'm positive my body aching is just because I can't go outside and I can't dumpster dive and I can't run errands and you know I just can't really get up and move around too much um to get out of the house which I don't move around very much in my house so I'm pretty sure that's what the body aches are from and then of course like I said I've got allergies and just a small common cold that my doctor said just take over the counter meds for I don't have a fever I don't have any of the major s signs that they want me to get tested for COVID-19 um, which is good. That's always good. Um, but I just wanted to check in with everybody. Say, hey, hi, hello. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, Trouble and I cannot wait till the quarantine is lifted and the CDC and my family <laughs> say I can go back out dumpster diving because even if the CDC says, I'm good to go. That doesn't mean my family says I'm good to go. Um, I've got my mom and my father in Arizona and they're, I'm worried about them because they're quite old and, you know, they're in that risk, age risk range. And they're like, oh no, don't worry about us. We're more worried about you than we are about ourselves. And it's like, okay. And they're telling the kids, they're telling my kids if mom needs something, go get it. If, if you need to talk to me, if mom needs something and you can't get it, call me up. I'll help. Like, don't let her go outside. Don't let her do this. And I'm going, guys, I'm an adult. I'm telling you, if I'm bound to get it, I'm bound to get it. I can't stop that. Um, if I get it, I get it. But I'm not planning on letting it take me down. No way. So, yeah. So, kind of kind of where I'm sitting right now. <laughs> um, but I am very, very much wanting to go back out and start dumpster diving. I'm having an itch. Um, kind of getting to the point where I'm like, okay, well maybe I could just dumpster dive in my house. <laughs> Not really, but you know, I could just do the same kind of thing, start, you know, going through stuff and 
organizing and really minimalizing things if I can. And then I get told by my family, no, that ain't happening. You need to rest because you need to make sure that you can fight off whatever, you know, fight it off if it comes and stuff. So, especially with allergies and having a small cold, you know, it's nice to know that my family loves me this much. And I, I wish, I, I mean... I'm glad that they do, and I appreciate them for it. But at the same time, I wish they'd lighten up just a little. Um, been watching a lot of YouTube videos, um, Facebook videos. Um, my husband let me get Hulu, so not only do I have Netflix, but I also have Hulu. So, like, right now I'm actually watching um, the original Will and Grace TV shit sitcom, the one that came back out came out in like 1998. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, I hope all of me and Trouble subscribers and your families and your friends and anyone you love in this world is doing well, doing safe, um, staying safe. Um, yeah, um, as far as... I mentioned my uncle passing right bef literally just a few days before they, they call it a pandemic and before they started their quarantine. Um, I did speak to my mother and my uncle is not being put to rest anytime soon. Not until this pandemic's over, which, I mean, it, that, that bothers me a lot. Um, I understand it. Trust me, I do. I understand it. But it, it's just, it bothers me that, you know, the family can't put him to rest. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that people, I guess, don't think about when it comes to something like this. That, you know, if you had a loved one die before they called it this big thing and before they quarantined every state and every town and everybody and started ask, started demanding social distancing from people, you know, there were still people dying of just everyday things. Um, so, you know, you don't think about, you don't stop to think about what somebody else is going through during all this Somebody's got to quarantine themselves in their house, but you don't know what their story was right before they got quarantined. You don't know what's maybe stressing them out, what maybe not stressing them out. Um, here in Lubbock, I mean, they the, the school's doing great. However, I mean, my electricity's not off because my TV wouldn't be on if it was. But the electrical company, we have one electricity company here. They have a monopoly. They're not willing to do anything to um, help with this whole catering to people because they're out of work because of the pandemic. Um, so that's going to be hard. Um, same with our landlord. He's still expecting rent on the first. Um, my husband's been out of work for an entire week. He's just starting going again. Heck, his last paycheck was like a third of what his normal paychecks are. And it was barely enough to do anything with. So... It's going to be interesting. I mean, at least, I got to say, at least the school's taking care of things. Um, I know our healthcare professionals out here are doing their best. I um, appreciate them so much. Um, but I wish a lot of these other little companies would take time to stop and think and, um, you know, understand. So... I mean, at least my husband still has the ability to go to work as a truck driver and, and hauling the CT and the MRIs because hospitals constantly need those. But there are people out there whose jobs have just completely stopped, leaving them moneyless. And I know Trump's administration is talking about the stimulus plan. And y'all, I hope to God it comes through sooner rather than later. I wish our government would just stop bickering about stuff and stop, take a deep breath, take a step back, look at what... The people in this country are going through and be like, okay, well, we're not going to bicker because you're Republican and you're Democrat and you have one idea and I have another idea. Let's just come to a middle place and instead of going, oh, well, that's your idea. I don't like it. Go away. You know, and making it a big, I mean, they're making things so difficult as they always do. I guess that's just our government. Um, but I do hope they get that out for anyone out there who may be in need of it. Um, 
so I guess in this time while I'm confined to my house and my bed, um, I'm not going to be doing, of course, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of videos, but, um, if you want to do like a Q and A video with me, y'all, that would be cool. Um, just drop your questions and whatever in the comments below and I'll go ahead and respond to them in my next video. Um, and as soon as the CDC lifts the quarantine here in Lubbock, the city lifts the quarantine, and as soon as my family let me free again, <laughs> um, I'll, uh, well, Trouble and I will start going out dumpster diving again. Um, of course, always like, share, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, um, turn your notification bell on, and... So then that way, once we do get out there and we start diving again, y'all will get notification that we're doing diving videos again. Um, but like I said, if you want to do a QA, and a drop your question below and I will be happy to answer them. I hope everybody out there is staying safe. I hope your friends and family and loved ones are safe. Um, hearts, thoughts, and prayers go out to everyone who's being affected by this virus, um, who's gotten it or who's lost a loved one because of it. Um... And I hope that this whole thing ends sooner rather than later. Because um, it is quite scary. Um, also, viewers, my viewers, my family, one more comment real quick about this whole thing. Because don't get me wrong, I understand. I'm, I admit the coronavirus, this, the COVID-19, it is scary as heck. But if you happen to have to go to the store or go out in public... I'm about to drop my phone. If you have to go out to the store or go out in public or whatever, and someone next to you coughs or sneezes, don't automatically freak out and think they have the COVID-19. Even though we've got this serious pandemic of the COVID-19 going on, the flu's still out there, colds are still out there, and allergies are still out there. Um, I went to CVS right before the CDC put everyone in quarantine to pick up some meds at one point. Um, this was before my family quarantined me as well. And I was standing inside in line and there was a couple people, um, behind me and I sneezed. And of course I covered my, myself, you know, so I didn't spit everywhere. And I had, um, they had some alcohol, uh, alcohol pad things, you know, like the, mm, the stuff with the, and with the rubbing alcohol on it, you know? And so, um, I grabbed that, wiped my hands down with that. Um, and then they had some antibacterial stuff, you know, um, hand sanitizer on their counter. So I squirted a pump in my hand as well. But I'm telling you, everybody backed away from me like I had the freaking plague. They all thought because I sneezed, I had it. And the the pharmacist even was like, are you okay? Or like, you know the UMC hospital's got testing going. And I looked at him and I said, dude, it's allergies. Which, henceforth, that's why I'm getting not only my heart medication, but why I have this over-the-counter allergy medication. I sneeze because I have allergies. I did not sneeze because I have COVID-19. So, um, just keep that in mind. Um, because, you know, apparently it happens a lot lately that somebody sneezes and it starts this, like, panic. And the people around them. And, honestly, unless you actually are showing symptoms of the virus. And you've talked talk to your primary care physician. Um, I would say don't, don't, don't go waste these medical professionals times at the testing centers because honestly from my understanding they won't test you unless you meet certain criteria anyway so um find out first if you meet the criteria talk to your primary care physician just call them up and say hey this is what's going on with me what do you think should i go get tested you know and then go from there so anywho um yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Oh, excuse me. And me in trouble, we will see you guys on the flip side.